Abu Dhabi, Philippines. Good morning. Now we are with our GLT, the fastest GLT in UAE, with uh, GLT Hossam and Nagwa. Welcome to Malaysia. <laughs> Hi. So, Hi, how are you? It's, good, uh, fine. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Welcome to our uh, our Facebook Live today. It's uh, I believe it's four thirty in the afternoon, right? Yes. In UAE, in, in Abu yes. Dhabi. So, have you have you had your uh, snacks? Because if in Malaysia, we normally will have like coffee. Do you have uh, do you have uh, your coffee today? Yeah, we have got our coffee many times. <laughs> <laughs> do you love coffee? Yeah. Of course, yeah. we have to concentrate, yes. I see. Okay, so uh, we are looking at uh, 86 people now in the Facebook. Are you on the Facebook now, JLT Hossam and Aqua? Yeah, we yeah. can see it, can, yeah. Can you see it? So do you have your friends from uh, from your country? Yeah, would they you, are. Would you like to, uh, we would like to call them, uh, like give uh, some love, saying that uh, they are here joining you today. Yeah, we share. We share the order. We share the order, but I don't know if they will join or not, what time they will join. Yeah, never mind. So we yeah. are actually about to start. So let's uh, call them. Uh, maybe you can still tag your friends. Come in and join us. Send them the link. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. believe you have yeah, the link from, Yes, I believe you have the link from Datu Desmond. So you can still do so. We give them like one to two minutes so they can so that they can see you live all the way with Malaysia. Yeah, come. Uh, pada semua uh, kawan-kawan dekat luar sana, pada malam ini kita akan bersama dengan GLT terpantas kita dari UAE. Yeah. Hi, Campbell. Hi, Mary. Congratulations on your uh, newborn baby. So let's uh, keep calling and, uh, you know, uh, coming in to the, the Datuk Desmond, yeah, Datuk Desmond's uh, Facebook. If you are watching now, hi June, much love to you. Come in and join us because we're gonna be with uh, GLT Hossam and Nagwa in a while. Yeah, please come in, and we're gonna be very fast because uh, GLT, the, these two GLTs will have their classes afterwards. Okay. So, are we ready? Give us some love, Malaysia. Type there. Hello, GLT Hossam and GLT Nagwa. I want to see that. Uh, comments, please comment. Welcome, GLT Nagwa and GLT Hossam. Please comments if you can hear me in your feed in the Facebook. Yes, can we welcome? Yes. Yeah. So we have this uh, our Ustad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Tonight we are live. Uh, hi Jane, Mabuhai from the Philippines. Yes, welcome to the Philippines. We are waiting for uh, some from the UAE. Maybe they are still uh, busy with their work. Yeah. Okay. So shall we? Shall we? Uh, I would like to introduce. I would like to introduce our special guests today, all the way from UAE. They are uh, GLT Hosam and Nagwa. Yeah, and uh, I would like to introduce a little bit about the background of our GLT tonight, uh, where GLT Nagwa finished her science college and started to work as chemistry teacher for seven years. So uh, there, uh, somebody commented our uh, CBM Campbell Chui. Yeah? She commented, welcome GLT Nagwa and Hossam. Yeah. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. So in January 2014, GLT Nakwa found an, in, uh, an ad on the internet about forever living. And uh, to be honest, she started to sell the products. So, and she began, she began to understand it. And uh, beliau mula memahami ya. Oh, saya kena cakap Melayu sebenarnya. Sebenarnya, uh, guest kita pada malam ini ya adalah seorang cikgu chemistry tau, chemistry uh, selama tujuh tahun. Ya, beliau ber, uh, bermula pada 2014 beliau telah menjumpai satu ads uh, dalam internet tentang Forever dan beliau pada mulanya cuma menjual, menjual saja dan uh, kemudian beliau uh, memahami tentang uh, Forever dan menjadi 
seorang manager pada September 2014. Kemudian beliau uh, naik pangkat dengan slow sebab apa beliau belum uh, belum full time lagi dan beliau adalah sebab adalah seorang teacher dan pada September 2016 beliau menjadi supplier manager that means dalam masa kurang dari dua tahun ya dua tahun lebih dua tahun lebih beliau menjadi supplier manager kemudian beliau berhenti bekerja sebagai teacher dan fokus dalam forever dan pada 2017 beliau telah menjadi seorang uh, diamond supplier and GLT member dan pada 2000 September 2019 dia beliau menjadi diamond manager so kalau tengok ya uh, perkembangan dia saya baru terbaca ni dia every September ya dia ada perkembangan tau. September 2016 dia menjadi uh, supplier manager and September 19 again dia menjadi diamond manager. Ya yeah. uh, GLT uh, Nago I was saying I just uh, notice that your your uh, when you in 2016 September that is uh, this month same as this month right you became the supplier manager and then again in September 2019 you became the Sapphire Diamond Manager, correct? Diamond Manager, correct? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah. So that is about our uh, GLT Nakwa. Yeah? Uh, the husband is sitting at the back of the wife. So the husband is supporting the wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes. so it's always like uh, we have this, uh, uh, the wife normally the successful person in front is uh, the, uh, because of the uh, support of the behind of that successful person, right? So, okay. Uh, kita akan bertanyakan soalan-soalan pada uh, GLT malam ini. Uh, I will I will translate in Malay first, then only I will say it in uh, English. Yeah? Soalan pertama saya akan berbunyi macam ni tau. Baru 192 orang ya. Jom datang. Uh, ajak ramai orang lagi ya. Uh, soalan saya pertama adalah saya akan bertanyakan pada GLT Hosam dan Nagwa Amalan-amalan Islamik ya. Ah, siapa tanya ni? Sila datang cepat. Uh, uh, CBM Rawani, adakah anda berada bersama kami sekarang ini? Ini adalah soalan khas untuk anda ya. Uh, saya akan bertanyakan pada GLT Hosam dan Nagwa amalan-amalan Islamik murah rezeki mereka. Okay, so uh, GLT Hosam dan Nagwa, uh, I will be asking you about uh, to share about your religious islamic practice where you get to enjoy the abundance of cheap sustenance from god yeah yeah i would say go to call out sir assalamu alaikum اول حاجه يعني انا مؤمنه بمبدا العطاء يعني على قد ما الناس بتعطي وعلى قد ما بنعطي الفقراء والمحتاجين ده بيرجع لنا في الاخر بالخير peace be upon you first uh, she says that uh, uh, she's convinced about that when you give the, the, the people more, uh, that it will come back to you more and more. So, like well, our uh, our uh, big manager, uh, Rick, Rick's, uh, the late Rick's, uh, he was always uh, said like that. So that is his principle from the beginning. So it matches Islam and our religion as well. وبالتالي يعني أنا دائما. Let me translate first, yeah, because I need to translate. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, pada Nagwa ya, JLT Nagwa dia yakin ya, yakin yang bila kita membantu ramai orang, Tuhan akan memberi kita lebih banyak lagi. Dan sama seperti uh, late Dr. Rex kita juga percaya bila kita membantu, uh, kita juga akan dapat banyak lagi uh, rezeki ya dari dari situ. Alright. Eh, وبالتالي في يعني أنا عملا جزء من الشيء الشهري والسنوي نسبة ثابتة إن أنا لازم بتطلع للمحتاجين بساعد في ال ال الناس الفقراء اللي محتاجين شيء عمليات للمرضى للزواج. So she has a, a percentage of her monthly check and a yearly bonus check. She keeps that percentage for the people who are in need, like uh, poor people, like uh, um, often children, like uh, new marriage people. She likes to help them every month and every year. 
Okey, sebahagian dari percentage ya bonus mereka, bonus bulanan dan tahunan mereka, mereka akan bantu orang-orang uh, miskin, anak-anak yatim, ya dan orang yang baru berkahwin juga, ya. Uh, Okey. Okey. Yes. Okey. Any no. more? No. No. Uh, and you you were saying also that in Islam you uh, also there is a teaching that. Uh, we you all help people who are in needs right yes yes this is uh, our religion says that yeah okay so what, what, once we give people more it comes back to us more and more yeah okay um, according to uh, jlt hosam bila kita dalam islam juga ada mengajar bila kita membantu orang ramai uh, yang akan datang pun lagi banyak ya Mem memberi dan kita akan da dapat lebih banyak lagi okay so shall we proceed to question number two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, soalan number dua, saya akan bertanya bagaimana dan uh, mereka menangani ya masa dalam keluarga dan business forever. So uh, JLT Hosam and Nagwa, I will ask about uh, how you and husband and wife, how do you manage your time between uh, being with the family and the forever business? بالنسبة في البداية كان الموضوع ده صعب لأن أنا في البداية كان عندي وظيفة كمدرسة بالإضافة إلى فوريفر وشغل البيت. At the beginning that was very difficult because she was working as a teacher, a chemist teacher, and she has to manage between the working as a teacher and forever and the house need. Okay. Um, pada mulanya, pada sorry, pada mulanya uh, memang susah bagi JLT Nagwa ya sebab dia bekerja sebagai seorang guru dan dia kena balance kan masa antara uh, bekerja dan kerja rumah. Okay, alright. Eh, بعد كده في بعد ما اشتغلت في فوريفر سنتين eh, طبعا اضطريت ان نستقيل استقيل من العمل بتاعي كمدرسة واتفرغ لشغل فوريفر والبيت فقط. After uh, two years. Uh, she resigned from being a chemist uh, teacher and she was uh, full dedicated her full time for forever and the house need. Okay, selepas so 2 tahun beliau berhenti mengajar dan masa tu lah beliau fokus uh, untuk uh, rumah dan dalam business forever. طبعا هو الموضوع ان انا اوفق بين شغل البيت واولادي وبين شغل فور ايفر كان صعب في البدايه ولكن معايا يعني زوجي بيساعدني الاولاد متفهمين الموضوع وبيساعدوني قدرت الحمد لله بعد فتره ان انا اوفق بين وقت البيت ووقت فور ايفر. So after some time uh, she she managed to to, to keep uh, uh, some time for forever and uh, I helped some time with the with the house needs and the ch our children as well helped as well so we managed all of us to keep the, the business going and uh, keep our need, house needs in, in intact Lepas seketika barulah JLT Nagwa ni boleh dapat apa tahu membahagikan masa dan yang banyak membantu ha, adalah suami dia Hosam. Uh, suami dia banyak menjaga juga anak-anak uh, dan saya juga ada apa tahu dekat dia. Uh, jangan tengok ah badan macam ni macam kontrol macho lah konon kan tapi sebenarnya JLT Hosam ni banyak membantu JLT Nagwa dari segi menjaga anak-anak. I was telling them that actually the person who is looking after your children is uh, JLT Hosam. I said, uh, I was saying like, uh, when, when we look at you, it's like, wow, he's so like, uh, you know, that kind of bodybuilder, but then actually you are so kind that you look after your children. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so you are an awesome dad, awesome husband. Yeah, that's, Thank you that's very what, much. Yeah, Thank you're you. welcome. So that's what you, you two are so close together. Thank yeah. you. So, uh, a question number three, I will ask in Malay first. Soalan yang ketiga, apakah gerak kerja mereka yang boleh menghasilkan kejayaan pada mereka? Ya, yeah? apakah uh, gerak kerja mereka yang menghasilkan kejayaan? Okay, um, GLT, I would like to ask, what are your daily routines that contributes to your success? طيب أول حاجة أنا يعني موظب عليها يوميا لازم بيكون عندي محاضرات للفريق يوميا. So for at the beginning, we have a schedule of our training uh, uh, for our team. Okay. Uh, dari mula, mereka, 
Mereka memang ada training schedule untuk team mereka. Okay. Okay, ثاني حاجة لازم إن أنا بأكلم على الأقل عشرة من الأشخاص كل يوم. الأشخاص دول بيكون فيهم جزء أشخاص جديدة مرشحين للعمل وجزء تابع الفريق القديم. So daily she talks to at least ten people, which half of them at least are from the old team and half of them are new prospects. Okay, setiap hari JLT nangko akan bercakap dengan separuh orang. Contohlah sepuluh, sepuluh orang baru dan sepuluh orang ramai. And uh, GLT, Hosam, if you see ya uh, in the in the comments there, uh, somebody will say you both are sweet couple, and somebody is saying <laughs> thank you very much. Wow, thank so you. sweet, so awesome husband because we we need more husband like you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, I was just joking. GLT now, please don't be mad at me. Thank you. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so you're an idol of uh, every woman, you know, because we need <laughs> husband to help women. <laughs> to be you. able to be able to for us to succeed. Okay, uh, anything else you'd like to add uh, on? في كمان ان لازم انا بعمل اعلانات يوميا ان انا ابيع منتجات اعلانات طبعا على السوشيال ميديا ان انا ابيع منتجات بالاضافه ان اعلانات ان انا ادخل فريق جديد معايا. So uh, daily also she makes uh, like some uh, advertisements on the social media platforms uh, for selling products and for recruiting new people as well. Okay. Uh, uh, selain itu, hari-hari juga, setiap hari ya, JLT Nagwa akan buat advertisement untuk menjual produk dalam social media. Uh, and uh, the so social media that you're using will be? Uh, Facebook, uh, Insta, Snapchat. Okay, so uh, uh, apa social media yang dia guna adalah Facebook, Instagram dan Snapchat ya, yeah? dekat uh, dekat UAE, mm. dekat Dubai, mm. Abu Dhabi. Sorry. Okay. Mm. Mm. Sorry. بواظب أو أي حد من الفريق بواظب على الأشياء دي يوميا حتى لو أشياء قليلة في الآخر بتوصلنا للنجاح. If you continue to do that uh, practice. It will lead you to success for sure. Okay, JLT Nagwa kata, kalau you sentiasa buat macam tu, you sent, you akan definitely sampai ke puncak kejayaan. Yeah. Okay. So that's all. Anything else? Okay. So kita move on ke ke soalan yang keempat ya hari ini adalah soalan saya akan bertanya tentang jadual coaching mereka. And uh, how is your coaching schedule like? Eh, I'm assuming the training for two parts or two parts. The first part is about a course, about about eight lectures, that will be finished in a whole month. So she uh, divided her training schedule into two parts. The first part is uh, consist of a course for eight lectures. المفروض ان اي حد حتى لو جديد بدا معايا الثمان محاضرات دولت من اول يوم لحد اخر يوم في الشهر بيكون اتعلم كل حاجه عن فوريفر عن قوانين فوريفر عن الشغل عن كل المعلومات اخذها. So if any new prospect he will attend these eight lectures he will know everything about forever from making a team from selling products everything. Okay, uh, that means to say uh, setiap uh, dalam schedule beliau ada dua jenis tau. Pertama Course yang pertama beliau ada lapan modul ya yang akan bermula. Normally you will start it from the early month to the month end, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Course beliau akan buat dalam lapan modul, eight modules, right? Eight trainings in a month. Akan bermula dari awal bulan sampai ke akhir bulan dan apa yang dia ada sertakan adalah even orang yang baru ya at the end of the course tu mereka akan peserta akan belajar keseluruhan tentang forever. Alright. الجزء الثاني من التدريب ده بيكون عبارة عن إن تدريب مختص بكل ليدر أو مانجر أو مساعد مدير بفريقه كامل ده علشان بيكون ليه خصوصيته وخططه الحاله وشغله الحاله فدائما بيكون لهم اجتماع مخصص. So the second part of the training is consist for the it's mainly focused on the leaders and their teams so each leader and his team has his own training and uh, own lectures okay training yang kedua dia uh, uh, training yang kedua beliau akan buat dengan uh, manager 
uh, dia fokus pada manager dan uh, mereka ada team-team mereka sendiri tau. Because I understand that uh, during this training, ya, yeah, uh, JLT, Hosam, and Nagwa, you are referring to the manager and the assistant manager who has the yes. uh, biggest team in their team, right? Yes, yes. Uh, each uh, manager or assistant manager has his own team uh, um, and own plan for to, to do the forever work. So she has to concentrate on each team and his, its leader separately okay. from the other one. Okay. So, maksudnya dia akan buat macam ni tau. Dalam team dia tu, dia ada buat uh, plan tersendiri mengikut level mereka. Dia tak campur. Dia tak campur jadi dia tahu mana dekat dekat mana dia nak fokus dan mana dia nak uh, perbaiki lagi team-team dia. Okay. So, and you are saying that uh, also this is your weekly weekly uh, schedule with them, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Ini adalah... Uh, Schedule mereka ha, mingguan, mingguan. Uh, selain daripada yang tadi dari sebu, uh, start dari pertama bulan sampai ke akhir, dan ni pula yang mingguan. Tapi yang ni dia fokus pada manager, assistant manager dan kumpulan-kumpulan uh, uh, mereka yang leader-leader ni. Jadi dia tahu mana nak uh, fokus plan mereka. Okay? Anything else to add on? No, thank you. No. Okay, seterusnya soalan saya akan bertanyakan apa yang... Um, buat orang baru ya ingin join tim beliau sebab orang tak nampak muka GLT Nagua kan kalau kita tahu pun kita nampak kan dia tak nampak tapi uh, adakah uh, adakah sebab Hosam yang handsome atau uh, apabila saya sendiri bercakap kan dengan GLT Nagua ni saya boleh nampak ya uh, keyakinan tengok mata dia walaupun tersembunyi ya muka dia tapi you boleh nampak mata dia ya penuh dengan keyakinan tau dan ketulusan beliau eh, dari cara beliau menjawab soalan-soalan saya walaupun saya tak faham ya apa dia cakap tapi you boleh dengar suara dia dengan mata dia ya macam mata helang tau ha uh, so i'm saying uh, what makes people wants to join your team since people cannot see your face ah uh, 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 Nagwa is it because of your handsome husband or <laughs> some <laughs> but but uh, honestly I, I was telling everyone here honestly when i uh, had a chance to speak to you personally i can feel the spark in your eyes you're like so focused like the eye of an eagle and you know you have that <laughs> even to grow okay. further and to, to grow even further even though i can cannot see your face i can just see your eyes but i can hear your sincerity through your voice so I would like okay. to ask this. <laughs> طبعا هو تعليقا على نقطة إن محدش بيقدر مثلا يشوف لأن أنا منقبة وإزاي إن أنا بتعامل مع فريق والناس بتنضم لفريقي. معظم فريقي 90% منهم سيدات وبشرح لهم محاضرات وبشيل النقاب عادي. So uh, regarding the point of she's covering her face, uh, her, most of her team, 90, at least 90% of her team is ladies. So when she give them the, the lectures, she uncovers her face in front of the ladies, no problem. Okay, so maksud, uh, dia cakap tentang muka dia tertutup tu sebenarnya 90% ya, team dia adalah wanita tau. So bila dia bersama mereka tu, baru dia akan buka. بالنسبة برضو الفريق بيكون محتاج دائما مساعدة بيكون محتاج دعم حتى لو دعم نفسي إن مشاكل بتقابله لازم متابعة يوميا لازم يحس إن في حد بيكون معاه فطبعا ده أنا كل بحاول أوفره للفريق. So she supports her team by continuously follow up with them and solving the problems which face them every day and every minute. So, uh, and um, she's 100% uh, supports her team. That's why people are joining her team uh, very much. Too much. Okay. So, that means JLT uh, Nagwa ni berhati besar dia tau. Sebab dia selalu support team dia. Support team dia membantu solve problem mereka. Dan uh, 100% dia bagi diri dia pada dia punya team. Komitmen uh, uh, pada team dia. Okay. Alright. Right. Done. 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 Okay, done. What about the... Uh, and I understand that you also always call your, your, your team, right? Your leaders? Oh, 
غير المحاضرات لازم يكون في مكالمات تليفونيه خاصه بكل شخص في الفريق خاصه القاده الكبار لازم يكون في مكالمات تليفونيه غير المحاضرات اللي هي بتكون على الزوم. So she calls her team every day to uh, despite uh, the, the lectures on Zoom and, and online lectures. Uh, and she makes sure that they could continue following her plans and directions. Okay, so that means uh, setiap hari ya, dia akan selain dari memanggil uh, panggilan, dia juga ada Zoom untuk memastikan mereka sentiasa berada di landasan yang betul tau. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes I understand that you are telling me the other day that uh, sometimes you have these people who are feeling negative, you know, and uh, how how do you do that? How do you help them to be positive again? إن الشخص إن الناس بيجي لهم ساعات طاقة سلبية وخلاص يعني مش عايزين يكملوا طبعا أنا علشان أحل الموضوع ده لازم أعرف إيه المشكلة تمام بساعدهم في حل المشكلة وأمتص الطاقة السلبية فممكن أصلا على آخر اليوم أكون أنا تشبعت طاقة سلبية من الفريق. So uh, most of the people they, they get this negativity uh, at work and they start feeling uh, bored and feeling they don't want to continue and uh, she makes sure that uh, to keep motivating them so they can continue doing the work properly and sometimes this negativity affects her herself. <laughs> Oh, so what does she do? She will call them? Yeah, she will keep calling them and oh. making sure that uh, and motivating them and unless they, uh, until they stop that uh, negativity and okay. they are back to work. Okay, sebenarnya uh, JLT Nagwa ni pun ada terasa tau. Macam uh, orang yang, dia cakap uh, orang ni sebenarnya orang yang boring, yang tak nak continue lah nak buat. Dan tapi uh, dia tak putus asa, dia masih call mereka dan memberi semangat uh, sampai mereka akan datang balik dan buat balik. So nampak tak dia punya uh, keyakinan, dia punya persistence tu uh, tak pernah berhenti. Dia selalu memanggil-manggil orang-orang dia. ya. Yeah? Okay, so you always give them a uh, positive uh, feedbacks, you know, in their team. Positive vibes, positive vibes. Yes. Uh, and you are saying uh, any anything else that you'd like to add on? And because you are saying that uh, this negativity comes from the problem, right? Yeah. يعني دايما الطاقه السلبيه دي بتكون عن طريق المشكله هم واقعين في مشكله فلازم مبدئيا ان احنا لازم نحل المشكله دي اساعدهم انهم يحلوها علشان نقدر نكمل من اول وجديد. This negativity comes from two, two reasons. One is because the, these people are, have, some of the leaders have problems for example. So that's why they, they, they have this negativity feelings. Or the other reason is because of uh, that they, they have negativity. Can you say They lost their self-confidence in oh. themselves. Okay. So, kata ni JLT Nagwa, ya. Negativity ni datang dari dua punca tau. Satu, ha, leader yang ada masalah. Dan yang kedua, mereka hilang keyakinan. Okay? They lost their confidence, right? Yes. Mereka hilang keyakinan. So ini beliau cakap ni ada dua punca kenapa orang negatif bagi beliau lah. Okay, alright. Yes. Any, right. Anything else? So, so she she make sure that uh, to solve the problem for the leader who has the problem, then he will lose that negativity. And the second one, and she keeps motivating them until they uh, they lose this uh, self uh, self confidence problem. So so the first one, that what does she do? She makes sure to solve the problem. Oh, she will help them it's, to solve the problem. Them. Oh, yes. okay. And the other one is to motivate them. Oh, yeah. And two. the other one is motivation. motivation. Yeah. So, okay. Now, uh, yang orang pertama tadi, ya, leader yang ada masalah tadi, uh, GLT Nagwa akan buat apa tau? Dia akan buat membantu mereka dengan... Uh, dengan solution dalam masalah mereka yang hilang hilang arah tu pula beliau akan buat apa tau dia motivate them motivate them dia tak tinggal tapi dia motivate them i was telling the the people who are watching right now uh, that GLT Nagwa will not leave the, the those who are these two negative people uh, due to these two two reasons but you will always following up on them right yes yeah okay 
So, okay. Uh, next, we will be asking, I will be, anything else that you'd like me to, to, to ask? I mean, to add on to your comment? No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I want to add on, actually. Hossam uh, is very, very lucky. Or, uh, is, just now I said, uh, <laughs> is lucky. But now I said, uh, Hossam also very, very lucky because I can yes. see the power of uh, Nagwa with bringing you to the top. Huh? Yeah, so... Yes. Yeah, so ladies, uh, dekat luar sana, you tengok tak uh, kekuatan GLT Nagwa kita ni? Yeah, uh, both of them actually uh, very lucky lah. They are, they are, mereka ada satu uh, apa yang sangat kuat ya, mengikat mereka berdua sebab satu ni memahami kerja isteri dan satu juga memahami kerja suami dan support each other. Yeah, okay. And uh, seterusnya, saya akan bertanya Uh, tentang uh, apakah cara yang paling efektif uh, yang beliau ajar pada tim beliau untuk fight semua insentif. Saya percaya dekat Malaysia ni juga kita ada masalah-masalah uh, ni bila kita nak cakap uh, apa nak fight untuk insentif bagaimana kan. So saya akan bertanya kan bagaimana dan uh, mari kita belajar bersama-sama ya. Okay, JLT, what is your most effective way to cut short downlines that make them to fight all out for the forever incentive? حوافز forever هي معمولة تركيبتها وفي حد ذاتها هي بتشجع الناس إنها تحققها لأنها بتحقق جميع المتطلبات سفر شركة شمن بونس وباكت مان. So the forever incentives. It's already made to make sure that people get motivated by by trips, annual trips, and uh, of course the the money and uh, and the benefits which they yeah. get. Okay, forever incentive, yeah, according to them, yeah, forever incentive cukup membuat kita teruja tau untuk capai. Sebab apa? Dia ada trip, an annual trip, ah, means tahunan, dan ada duit untuk di diberi pada kita tau. So forever ni sangat sangat pemurah sebab uh, selain dari mendapat trip kita dibagi duit juga. Okay, so because we we get from uh, we get both the money and the uh, trips, right? Free trips. Yes. Yes. Uh, يعني uh, تركيبتها بتساعد الناس وتحببهم انهم عايزين يعملوا الحوافز. Uh, انا اللي بعمله علشان الناس دي تحقق الحوافز لازم اول حاجه بشرح لهم الحوافز كويس جدا عشان يفهموها، ثاني حاجه بحط لهم خطه يمشوا عليها من بدايه السنه لاخر السنه ازاي انهم يحققوا الحوافز دي. So uh, this incentives makes the people uh, uh, she puts plan for her team so they can reach that incentives on the on the specific time. as a target. Oh, okay. So you will plan for them. And, and, yeah, and she explains explains the incentives to them very well so they will understand it very well. Because there is a lot of people working forever, they don't understand incentives very well. Okay, so it means uh, incentive here, yeah, dia buat, dia buat dengan uh, teliti tau, dia buat plan dan uh, dia bagi mereka Contoh, ah, dia bagi mereka untuk uh, apa jadual bila nak hit dan uh, dia bagi orang-orang uh, gini dia tim dia bagi mereka faham betul-betul apa itu insentif dan dia uh, beliau memberi uh, apa masa ya uh, plan planning ya uh, bila kena target contoh mungkin dia cakap ah uh, dua tahun dia mesti kena dapat ni ah uh, macam tu dia kata sebab dia kata dia ada plan dia bagi semua insentif ni dengan melalui plan ya untuk dia hit dan uh, mereka kena faham betul-betul tentang uh, insentif okey eh دائما كمان بحط لهم خطه بعيده المدى لمشاركه ارباح مستوى ثالث اي حد داخل معايا فور ايفر لازم احط له خطه حتى لو هيحققها بعد سنتين او ثلاثه ما فيش مشكله بس يبقى عارف ان هو لو اشتغل على الخطه دي So she, she she makes a long term uh, target for her uh, for her team that uh, they she makes sure that after three years for example they will reach a, a certain level which she puts it uh, for them as a target. So three. Chairman bonus Chairman three bonus three level oh. three. Okay, so JLT uh, nak buat buat macam ni tau dia menekankan ah. Uh, long term target supaya tim beliau boleh capai CBM level 3 ya dalam masa 3 tahun 3 tahun 3 years right 
Yes. Yeah. So beliau sangat menekankan untuk long term, eh, untuk long term uh, team target dia uh, boleh capai CBM level 3. Wow, tiga tahun cukup pantas. Tapi sekarang pun kita pun banyak terpantas terpantas. So tidak mustahil ya, tidak mustahil. Okay. Yes. Anything okay. else to add on? اه الحوافز والسفر في حد ذاته بيحفز الفريق كتير ان هو يشتغل يعني موضوع جلوبال رالي ابو ظبي اللي حصل ده اللي اعلنوا عنه من حوالي 10 ايام ده يعني زود شغل الفريق بنسبه 50% عن الاول. So the forever incentives and trips especially the the global rally coming to Abu Dhabi it will it increased our business about 50% because it's coming to Abu Dhabi the same country which we live in. 50% yeah. increase. Oh, okay. According to apa ni, uh, uh, GLT Hossam, uh, disebabkan uh, GR akan diadakan di Abu Dhabi, uh, 50% tau. Dia punya tim berkembang. So, ini sangat-sangat teruja kan. Mereka sangat-sangat teruja sebab mereka akan mencapai global rally di dalam uh, negara mereka sendiri. Okay. آه عايزه كمان يعني آه يعني ابشر كل الموجودين في ماليزيا ابو ظبي اكثر من رائعه وان شاء الله يعني نتمنى نشوف اكبر عدد ممكن من فريق الماليزي موجود آه في ابو ظبي لانها فعلا بلد وهتكون رحله اكثر من رائعه. So, uh, we would like to see more people from Malaysia coming to Abu Dhabi because it's very beautiful country and they will enjoy it a lot. Wow, Malaysia, listen. Ya, yeah, according to JLT Nagua, dia nak tengok kita ramai-ramai dari Malaysia sebab dia kata Abu Dhabi sangat-sangat cantik. ya. Yeah? So, sangat-sangat cantik. Pastikan anda semua fight untuk Global Rally. Okay? I was telling everybody uh -huh. they, they should fight because uh, you are saying yes. that Abu Dhabi is very, very beautiful. And yes. I would like to ask them, would you like to see GLT Nagwa and GLT Hossam? Let's see what's their reply in the Facebook. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah they, uh, somebody put three kalatis say, kami datang means uh, I'm coming, we're coming. Yeah. So, uh, check you. Wow, yes, we're going to see GLT in uh, Abu Dhabi. Yes. Okay, anything else to add on? No, it's done. Done. Yeah, okay. All right, so our next question will be, uh, let me say in Malay first, bagaimana beliau, uh, soalan ni uh, semua kita ada ya, uh, masalah ni ada ya, bagaimana beliau menangani leader ya, yang tiada inisiatif dan sentiasa menantikan solution tau, solution uh, dari upline, adakah anda, saya juga akan bertanyakan pada dia tau, beliau, uh, adakah beliau juga mempunyai leader seperti ini? Yeah. Okay, uh, JLT, I want to ask you, how do you deal with leader who has no initiative and always waiting for you to initiate solution? Do you have this kind of leader, by the way? Yes, yes, we have. Yes, see? They say yes, others. Everybody has this because we are human, right? <laughs> يعني خلينا نعترف في الأول إن في ناس بطبعها قادة وفي مدراء ما عندهمش حس القيادة. There are some people which are leaders. And there are some people who are just a manager, uh, and, uh, but he's not. A, he doesn't have the, the leader qualification. Quality. Okay. According to DLT Nagwa, ada dua jenis orang tau. Satu leader dan satu manager. Tapi yang manager ni dia tak ada quality sebagai leader. Okay. اللي بعمله ان اي شخص ما عندوش حس القياده او ان هو دايما بيحاول ان هو ما يحلش المشاكل عنده او مش بيعتمد على نفسه دايما ان انا لازم احطه على الطريق الصحيح واسيبه يتخذ القرارات الصحيحه حتى لو خطا فيها ما فيش مشكله بس لازم اكون مراقباه من بعيد. So um, she makes sure that the, the leader who has too many uh, excuses she keeps an eye on him monitoring him but we don't give him the decision, tell him the solution. We just uh, tell him to do the decision, even if it is wrong, just to make sure that he, his decision making, uh, uh, like the decision making will progress with him by time. So he continues to through trial and error. Okay. So bagi leader, yeah, according to JLT Hossam, dia pastikan ya, yang banyak alasan tu, dia tak bagi bagi leader yang banyak alasan tu dia tak bagi uh, dia decision atau solution tau. Walaupun uh, leader tu akan buat salah dia akan biar saja sebab 
uh, bagi mereka mereka suka orang yang akan belajar trial and error right right you are saying uh, biar dia buat silap tapi dari kesilapan tu juga uh, leader tu akan um, uh, belajar dari kesilapan tersebut okey بس ولكن لازم نقطة إن أنا لازم أكون مراقباش لأن أنا لو سبته ممكن إن هو يخسر البيزنس بتاعه كله ويفشل فلازم أنا لو سبته يتخذ القرار لازم إن أنا أكون مراقباه من بعيد وأتدخل في الوقت المناسب علشان في الآخر ما يخسرش البيزنس تبعه. So um, she she keeps monitoring him from very close distance uh, because uh, she doesn't want him want him to lose the business so she will interfere only at the minute which the problem will get very big then she will interfere to make sure that he will, will not lose the business oh okay so you mean you will monitor closely because uh, okay yes. um you do not want to lose the business right yes okay dia akan close dia, dia tak biar dia cuma monitor uh, leader tu dengan secara ter, uh, dekat sebab dia tak nak uh, dia tak nak Uh, individu itu akan hilang dan uh, beliau juga ingin memastikan yang dia sentiasa ada dalam bisnes beliau ya yeah? okey dan dan eh طبعا انا انا اتفقت الطريقه دي ان انا دايما انا اخلي اتخذ قرارات هو بنفسه بعد فترة خلاص بياخد ثقة في نفسه وبيكون قائد لأن ممكن القيادة تتعلم في ناس في الأول ما كانش عندها حس القيادة وبعد فترة أصبحت من كبار القادة. By leaving him to take his own decisions without interfering, so the the decision making skill will continue to improve with him by time, so he will become a very powerful decision maker at 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 the future. Oh, okay. According to JLT Nagwa, bila dia letak dia bersendirian, ya, dia tak macam bimbing dia betul, macam baby baby, macam spoon feed lah. Uh, individu tersebut ya akan uh, menjadi, menjadi seorang yang kuat dan dia akan improve dan akan menjadi seorang kuat dan uh, berdikari lah berdikari. Itu maksud dia uh, boleh berdikari dengan sendiri dia. Uh, that means uh, the person will be very independent at the end of the day because. Uh, after uh, after a lot of uh, improvement right so yes. at the end of the day he will be very independent okay anything else to okay. add on done. Done. done yeah okay and then the next question uh, soalan seterusnya saya akan bertanyakan bagaimana bagaimana mereka menangani cabaran dan menukar minda leader dari offline ya dari offline sedangkan mereka sentiasa buat training tapi memberi alasan mereka tak boleh berjaya dan serahkan pada Tuhan. So, uh, my next question will be how do you face challenges and convert your leader whose mindset is still on offline despite that uh, they can do training but they still give excuse that they can uh, they cannot succeed in forever and always blame it to God. اي شخص بي بيكون وصل لمرتبه مدير وبعد كده توقف او او بطل الشغل او شيء ده بيكون بسبب ان في مشكله حصلت له في مشكله حصلت له ادت انه يفقد الثقه في الشغل ده so any person who reach a manager level and and then he uh, stop and make excuses and all that that's because there is a specific problem which happened to him Okay, so bagi dia sesiapa yang menjadi manager dan buat alasan kan, that means kan ada masalah pada uh, individu tersebut ada masalah. So uh, what she will do is that she will help him overcome this uh, problem and uh, make us make some solutions for it. And uh, will deal with him as he, as if he is a new uh, person who will just join forever for new. Okay, that means dia um, nangku akan JLT nangku ni dia akan tak tinggal. Dia masih bantu bantu individu tu uh, overcome dia punya apa masalah dan terus akan memberi bimbingan tu, memberi bimbingan, uh, help him right to help him and in what way again? In what way? Coaching. Through coaching, coaching. through coaching, yeah, dia sentiasa beliau sentiasa uh, sentiasa akan diberi coaching oleh oleh GLT Nagwa, okay? 
دايما الشخص اللي بيوقف شغل ده لانه خلاص فقد النجاح بتاعه وبكون انا واثقه ان هو زي ما حقق النجاح ده قبل يقدر يحققه مره ثانيه لو انا اقنعته بالكلام ده وفضلت متابعاه بمسلمات يوميا ومتابعه وتدريب بيوصل مره ثانيه للي هو عمله سابقا So uh, he continues to, to follow up with this person because he already uh, succeeded before and he will make sure that he will succeed, uh, will, will, will have su uh, success again because of her follow up and training and co coaching and she will keep on following up with him every day until he reached the success level again. Okay, disebabkan orang yang uh, maksudnya tadi yang dah macam tergelincir lah. Sebab kadang kita ni manusia ada uh, ups and downs. So, dia tak akan putus asa tapi dia akan sentiasa memberi galakan dan memberi coaching pada uh, uh, leader tersebut supaya dia akan lebih berjaya lagi seperti seperti se sebelum ni tu. Sebab kalau sebelum ni dia dah berjaya, that means dia percaya orang ni mesti akan berjaya lagi bila saya tak putus asa dengan uh, leader ini. Ya? Yeah? Eh, كمان ببدا ان انا احفزه ان موضوع ان هو يوقف شغل او الطاقه السلبيه اللي عنده دي دي وارد تحصل لاي حد ممكن تحصل ممكن تحصل لاي حد كلنا بنمر بالظروف دي ان بيجي علينا مرحله ان بيكون في طاقه سلبيه ناحيه الشغل فلازم ان انا احكي له قصص نجاح وان الناس ازاي اتغلبت على الموضوع ده. So uh, she overcomes this by uh, telling him success stories of other uh, managers. The, and this this negativity happens to everyone in the business, including ourselves. So uh, the uh, business is always up and down, goes up and down, and uh, to continue to uh, with the success stories. He will be motivated and continue to work again. Okay. Um, according to Apani JLT Nagwa, mm, uh, dengan dengan uh, dia akan. Uh, yang negatif tadi itu dia akan overcome dengan cerita dia ceritakan tentang success story orang lain uh, dan kemudian dari situ uh, akan membara semangat dia lagi lah sebab uh, dia akan cari cerita orang yang dah sukses tu tau sukses dan then dia akan uh, macam kita lah uh, bagi orang ni cerita tentang success story of this person right okay sebab dalam bisnes, dalam bisnes, according to JLT Nashua, Nagwa, memang biasa ada ups and downs. So, kita tak boleh, we cannot give up, right? We cannot give up, we have to yeah. keep uh, doing. We kena, kena sentiasa uh, follow up, um, apa dengan close lah, sentiasa close dengan uh, orang leader-leader kita yang uh, ada masalah macam ni. ya? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Anything else? No, done. Done. So uh, I understand. I, I miss this. Uh, you are saying, um, JLT Hossam, uh, you always say there is no second chance. It's only one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, for the people who are, uh, this, this is regarding the people uh, uh, with the new prospects, we choose only people who are capable or capable of uh, doing work properly. We don't choose lazy people. We choose only hard, motivated, active people only. Oh, okay. Orang according to JLT Hosama, untuk yang new prospect kan, dia cuma uh, cari orang yang betul betul motivated, betul betul uh, bersungguh sungguh nak uh, buat forever. Otherwise, uh, dia cakap dengan saya during interview, dia tak ada bagi second chance sebab mereka terlalu memilih quality. You are uh, choosing over quality, right? Quality people. Uh, those yes. who can really work hard and really uh, who aim to succeed in life. Yes. Nah, mereka, uh, cara mereka adalah mereka mencari orang yang betul-betul ada quality dan uh, memang nak berjaya dalam uh, apa segala pun dalam uh, hidup mereka. Okay? All right, anything else to add on? Done. No. Okay, we're moving on to the next question. Uh, saya akan bertanyakan pada mereka, uh, apakah cabaran-cabaran dalam bisnes, eh, dalam uh, bisnes mereka dan bagaimana mereka menangani masalah-masalah uh, itu. Uh, GLT, I would like to, would you like to share with us what is your, what are your challenges in business and how do you overcome them? 
التحديات اللي عندي اللي بتواجهني في الـ في البيزنس عندي طبعا اكبر حاجه قابلتنا خلال السنتين الماضيين دي اللي هي موضوع كوفيد 19 واتمنعت المحاضرات والاجتماعات مع الناس For the last uh, biggest challenge was the COVID-19 virus, which uh, kept us from meeting people face to face, prevent us from meeting them, and we had to go online for all our business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cara uh, COVID-19 ya, so so keseluruhannya lah sebenarnya bagi mereka juga memberi impact yang besar ya sebab uh, you do not see people personal right in personal, so mm -hmm. it's a challenge for everybody. So, uh, maksud dia uh, mereka pun terkesan dengan COVID-19 ni dan uh, sebab tiada perjumpaan dalam uh, dalam offline. Okay? Eh, في كمان إن زي ما أنا قلت إن معظم الفريق عندي من السيدات وفي منهم كتير ما بيطلع من البيت بحكم يعني عندنا هنا في العرب يعني معظم السيدات بتكون في البيوت ما بيطلعوش من البيوت فبالتالي ده يعني uh, بيخلي كل الشغل عندنا أونلاين فبيستهلك مننا وقت أكتر وجهد أكتر. For our second biggest challenge was that most of 90% of Najwa's Nadua, team consists of ladies only. So the Arabic ladies, most of the time, they don't go out as per uh, the Arabic traditions. They don't go out much. So they have limited, very limited time going outside. Okay. Uh, number two, challenge number two bagi mereka sebab JLT Nagwa ni, or uh, leader dia adalah 90% adalah uh, wanita. And then dalam tradition mereka, then mereka tak boleh keluar lewat. So itu adalah uh, antara challenge bagi mereka. So dia memang terkesan sebab uh, team dia majority perempuan, ya? Yeah? Wanita. Okay? طبعا الحاجتين اللي فاتوا دول احنا قدرنا نتغلب عليهم عن طريق ان احنا نكثف محاضرات اونلاين ونكثف مكالمات مع الفريق لان دايما حتى لو في تحديات طالما احنا حاطين لنفسنا هدف للنجاح نوصل له. So to overcome these two challenges we had to increase our online lectures and phone calls to overcome all of these challenges and we hope that we continue our success during this Epidemic. Increase online. Uh, sorry, increase online. Increase online lectures, trainings, Lecture. calls, meetings. So that you can hit again your target. Yes. Okay. Untuk tangani uh, masalah COVID sekarang kan, apa mereka buat? Mereka uh, menambahkan lagi uh, training mereka melalui uh, online, online training macam kita lah uh, buat training supaya mereka juga akan on track lagi mencapai apa-apa uh, yang mereka nak capai dalam forever. Okay. في كمان عندنا يعني برضه من ضمن التحديات ولكن الحمد لله قدرنا نتغلب عليها ان في ناس كتير من فريقنا موجودين في مصر فبالتالي بدا ان هم التسويق اونلاين سواء في مصر او في دول الخليج وان احنا بنتابع شغلهم وترقياتهم من هنا من الامارات. So our third challenge was that some part of our team are people who live in Egypt and we have to follow up with them every day because they don't have a forever branch in Egypt yet. So we over, we this consumes a lot of our time. Okay. Nagwa juga ada JLT Nagwa juga ada masalah ya tentang uh, sebab team dia majority dekat Egypt tau. So uh, makan banyak masa sebab apa mereka kena hantar barang ke ke Egypt. Sebab dekat Egypt tiada branch. So dia kena uh, buat call selalu ya yeah, ke Egypt dan uh, membantu mereka dari segi menghantar barang. Ini mengingatkan saya lah macam saya juga dan beberapa leader ya yang selalu menghantar barang ke Sabah. Okay. I, I was saying because we have the same uh, the same uh, situation because I'm also I have leaders who are living in Sabah. So we are sending products to Sabah whenever there is a because some parts we do not have the branch so we also have the same uh, challenge with you and sometimes there is no uh, availability of the product so that's a great challenge yeah yeah okay uh anything else to add on done done yeah? done and uh you are you are your cc glt nagua i would like to ask how about your cc does it come uh all the way from abu dhabi or how how does your cc comes from 
فروم من الامارات السعوديه كل دول الخليج الميدل ايست بالاضافه الى في فريق في مصر زي ما قلت بنتبعه for most of the cases comes from all gulf countries uae saudi arabia um, kuwait jordan and oman and then uh, also uh, egypt okay majority majority uh, egypt uh, CC GLT Nagua datang dari Gulf, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Jordan, Oman, then uh, another one is in Egypt, right? Egypt. Yeah. So 30%, I understand 30% from Egypt. Yes. Huh? yes. Mm -hmm. So tengok tu, ha, jauh pun tak ada alasan tau. So mereka melebar ke mana-mana negara juga. Eh? So kita patut contohi mereka. ya. Yeah? I was telling everybody that you are like, Uh, spreading your wings, not just focusing on one area. So we will do the same too. Okay? Yes. Yeah, because yes. we are international, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would like to uh, add on? No, we're done. done. Okay. Uh, question number 11. Sebenarnya kita dah nak hampir ke penghabisan. Apakah marketing plan ya yang uh, GLT ni dan downline downline dia buat yang membuatkan mereka Uh, terpantas GLT di UAE. Yeah. So, uh, what is your what type of marketing uh, strategy that you and your downline do that makes you the fastest GLT in UAE? الطريقة اللي أنا بتابعها في التسويق بحكم إن زي ما أنا قلت كلنا في البيوت ما بنطلعش برا طريقة التسويق عن طريق السوشيال ميديا بكل أنواع الإنستغرام الفيسبوك السناب شات So, uh, because of due the, to the COVID-19 and the restrictions uh, we have here, uh, and uh, also the Arabic ladies, that we have to do all the work for, through social media, online business only. Uh, Facebook, Insta, and Snapchat, like we said. Okay. It's about COVID-19, then um, apa, uh, peraturan Arabic uh, wanita, kan? Dia ada certain, certain apa ni? Uh, dia tak boleh keluar lah, ada, ada sekatan, uh, sekatan. So, mereka tingkatkan dalam social media. Dalam social media di mana mereka sentiasa uh, bermain dengan snapshot, yeah, Facebook, dan uh, I believe Insta also, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, which social media, media is the most effective for you in Egypt? Uh, Facebook. Facebook, okay. Yang yang paling ya, paling famous. Kalau you nak cari orang dekat Egypt, mah cari dekat Facebook. What about Saudi Arabia? I snap and Insta. Snap and Insta. Okay, so Saudi Arabia, Snapchat dan Instagram. So cari kalau nak cari uh, prospek dekat sana, guna dua media sosial ni, social media ni. And uh, what about UAE? UAE? Insta. Insta. Insta snap. Insta and Snap. Okay, UAE juga, uh, Insta dan Snapshot. Yeah? And then, yeah. any anything else that you'd like to add on? Uh, كمان uh, بنحاول نعمل للفريق دايما مسابقات تحفيزية uh, حاجات انهم تساعدهم انهم يحققوا تارجت مسابقات داخلية للفريق عندي بتارجت معين. So he makes a specific target for each team to, re to, reach, to reach and this uh, like a contest If you reach this target, uh, she makes prizes and gifts for them. Ah, okay. Beliau membuat uh, satu target dan dia membuat competition juga tau. Uh, certain, macam ada certain level dan, uh, right? Certain level, right? Uh, for yes. people to reach certain level. Uh, so, beliau contohlah, dia, uh, you nak jadi supervisor, saya bagi you dua bulan. Ah, uh, Nanti, saya bagi you hadiah. Macam tu. Dia ada specific target dia. Macam kita juga lah. Kita sebenarnya, Uh, almost the same kan. Jadi macam tu juga cara dia ada apply juga macam tu eh. Anything else? Eh في كمان بحاول دايما اعمل بصفه مستمره اعلانات ان انا ادخل ناس جديده بصفه مستمره والناس دي لازم بحط في الاعلان ان بيكون لهم مواصفات معينه ان يكون عندهم خبره في التسويق انهم يكونوا عندهم طموح انهم يوصلوا. And uh, most of the time she makes uh, her advertisement for uh, new prospects. that uh, she will make an uh, interview for them and make sure that they have uh, uh, experience in marketing before and they are uh, active and, and uh, good people that will do a lot of work in forever. 
Oke, okay. uh, sebenarnya uh, JLT Nagoa ya, dia mencari orang based on uh, other experience dalam marketing. Uh, dan uh, dia suka dia akan interview orang tau. She will interview them, right? She will interview them. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, dia akan memberi bagi satu interview supaya uh, dia tak suka buang masa. Sebab sebelum ni dia ada bagi tahu saya dia tak suka buang masa. Whereby uh, you are saying that uh, it's better to to have a uh, to teach 10 people right then اعلم 10 اشخاص انهم يكونوا فاهمين الشغل وعندهم استعداد وطموح احسن ما اعلم 100 شخص معظمهم مش حابب ان هو يشتغل so for her it's better to have 10 people with experience and ready to work and active than to have 100 people who are not who doesn't have experience or not active So you see ya, dia punya quality macam tu. Dia rather ambil 10 orang saja tapi ada quality dan aktif daripada ada 100 orang tetapi tidak aktif. Dia duduk sana tidur-tidur dan suka-suka buat, suka-suka tak suka tak buat. Uh, I was telling I was telling everyone here that uh, you are very you 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 choose people do those with quality and uh, you do not you ignore those who are like Uh, in a while, you like to do this, and sometimes you don't do that, right? So you're very yes. focused to what you want, and you know what you want, the quality in these people. Yes. Right. Okay. So, uh, shall we? I would like to, I, I'll see you here. I, I We have your, uh, anything else to add on on this uh, question, uh, Jyoti no. Dangwa? And uh, you're always, I know you're always uh, giving training and a solution, right? And... Uh, Let's uh, let's see your your. Uh, I would like to show to the audience your what you sent to me the the picture of yours during your uh, what you have achieved. Okay. So, uh, would you like to share a little bit about this one? Ah, the first one, uh, this we were in Johannesburg in 2016. This was our first trip to the Global Rally in 2016. This is the Eagle Manager in uh, 2016. Global Rally 2016. Good. Global. Uh, the Eagle. Eagle. Oh. That was in the Global Rally 2016 in Johannesburg. Yeah, Global Rally. So, ini adalah gambar mereka semasa Global Rally uh, 2016. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Talk about this... Uh, Hossam, Hossam, I would like to ask you a personal question because yeah. all, all this I've been asking about Nagwa and you've been uh, translating for, for her. So <laughs> what what makes you fall in love? Because I understand that at the beginning you were not, uh, you're skeptical about uh, this <laughs> forever, right? At, yeah, at first I was uh, skept very skeptical. Uh, I thought this is uh, like a fake company or something want to take her money only. That was my thought at the beginning. But when she uh, when she was qualified to Johannesburg, she told me to come with her. So I went there. Uh, then I saw the people, Forever People, and uh, the company, and Rex, and uh, and Craig, and all these people, wonderful people. So I started to believe that this is true and this is a nice uh, work. So I saw the the, the greetings, the, the the love they they have for us, and the respect. So I, I, I enjoy it very too much uh, with the Johannesburg uh, trip. Okay, so uh, I started to support her that, that, that time. Sorry? I started the support at that time. Okay, so this is the, the greatest uh, input that we also, one of the greatest input that we can have. I, I uh, pada suami, suami, yeah. Suami suami istri istri yang tak apa ni ya tak support you punya you punya apa cup you punya other half according to GLT Hossam ah pada mulanya dia dia ingat uh, forever ni fake tau yang nak ambil duit orang ya ambil duit orang tapi bila GLT Nagwa qualify pergi Johannesburg dia nampak orang-orang forever ni dan dia jumpa Dr Rex dia cakap oh betul lah dia cakap Uh, ni baru yang apa sistem yang betul dan uh, dengan greeting dengan kasih sayang ya dengan uh, semua orang hormat menghormati antara satu sama lain so di situlah GLT Hossam ah mula mula support GLT Nagwa tau ah uh, pada mulanya dia tak percaya dia skeptical ah uh, macam kita punya suamilah ada suami sana ada orang sebelah situ tanya dia you skeptical kan ah uh, 
Semua isteri, yes. Uh, you see, uh, if you see Datuk Desmond is commenting, semua isteri kena bawa suami pergi trip forever. So, it means Datuk is uh, uh, asking all the wives to bring their husbands to go to the forever trips because it definitely will change the uh, mindset of the husband or the wife, right? Just yes, like they will start so, believing that this is true. This is yeah. not fake. So, you see, uh, pada semua yang menonton dekat sana, uh, ini adalah satu bukti uh, JLT Hosam kata it is true dan memang betul. So jangan pergi seorang-seorang kena bawa kita punya suami atau isteri, girlfriend atau boyfriend bawa saja dan di situlah we akan uh, you akan bermula ya. Yeah? And uh, shall we see more picture? Do we have some more picture? Uh, الصورة دي دي كانت دايموند سفاير دي كانت في 2017 دي كانت ترقية دايموند سفاير مانجر This was uh, the Diamond Sapphire Manager uh, uh, recognition in Dubai uh, it was 2017 uh, Pada 2017-2017 beliau dinobatkan sebagai Diamond Manager ya di Dubai 2017 right? Yeah. Diamond Sapphire. Diamond Sapphire. Diamond Sapphire. Wow, Diamond yeah. Sapphire. Yeah, because yeah. in 2016, you became the Sapphire. And, uh, yes. Yes. And uh, at the beginning, you were just a user, right? GLT Nagwa in 2014? Ah, uh, bidet kate 2014, where Sapphire kate for 2016. Uh, about so well, yeah, tenet 2016, they kate our half line again, and then I had a low. Uh, Taban bad, Sam Zogi said that Sherka who said that I'm not a half line again, I've a few more sister. If he kill my country, I'll get her get more good, but share her him. Uh, and uh, she's uh, talking about uh, 2016 recognition. Uh, I, I when I, I already started believing in the, in the company and attending with her uh, the recognitions, and uh, she had a speech a video with a speech and uh, during that time, if you'd like to show it to them. Uh, okay, I think uh, the video. Hold on, no, the video. Sipu Sean, do we still have the video? Uh, masa tu dia nak tunjuk kita video, but it's a little bit because we 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 didn't want to play this because we thought you would be running out of time. But we can play a little bit. Uh, we I will not translate. Is that okay? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. So this is uh, JLT Nagwa in two thousand sixteen, right? And Madam Navas. Yeah, Madam Navas. So lihat betapa gembiranya beliau menjadi. Diamond Sapphire, yeah? No, this is 2016 the was a fire manager. 2016 yeah. was a fire manager. This is your first one, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, bayangkan ya, bayangkan kita semua akan menjadi begini ya. Uh, naik ke pentas uh, dunia, semua orang akan melihat. Tengok, uh, lihatlah betapa gembiranya beliau ya. Sungguh pun dalam uh, ter ter cover macam tu tapi saya percaya kegembiraan dia ya menyelubungi segala-gala uh, jiwa dia dan suami dia dengan bangganya ya dengan bangganya melihat beliau di atas pentas so suami sila ah sila support uh, wife you ah sila support wife jangan cakap fake lagi sebab kita banyak bukti uh, datuk desmond kita Sentiasa berusaha membawa ramai GLT GLT dunia ya. Uh, kalau yang tahu uh, bulan 8 kita ada interview GLT terpantas juga dari Jepun ya. Dan sebelum tu bulan Julai ada juga uh, GLT dari India. So today kita bawa kepada anda semua uh, GLT dari UAE. So this was the amazing. I I can feel you here. I'm imagining myself to be here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everybody has that in mind, right? So yeah. it's just to work on the, the process and trust the process. How, what was your feeling when you were here, GLT? 
دي كانت أول مرة أطلع في حفل تكريم لفوريفر وأطلع على الستيج طبعا كانت سعادة يعني لا توصف ويعني ده اداني حماس ودفعة إن أنا أكمل وأوصل لأعلى من السفير مانجر. That was her first ever recognition. It was 2016. First time on stage and uh, she was very very happy and excited and motivated about continuing her success with forever. Okay, itu adalah pertama kali recognition yang dia uh, beliau terima tau dan pertama kali naik pentas dan itulah juga semangat dia menaik itulah juga mungkin ya eh, sebab dia yang every 2 tahun eh, beliau mesti akan capai sesuatu yang lebih baik dari tahun yang sebelumnya. Okay? And then uh, you were you were just a user, right? Uh, in 2014. Join 2014. Yes, 2014. You were just a user, and uh, you were selling products only, right? And, uh, uh, at the beginning, and... she, she was selling products only. She didn't know about uh, making a team and all that. Okay. So pada mulanya, pada mulanya JLT Nagwa ni dia tak tahu tau. So dekat sana saya nak bagi tahu, uh, dia tak tahu tentang uh, nak buat tim, nak, uh, dia tahu jual saja dan dia, dia pengguna, pengguna. So kita kalau ada kenal orang dekat luar sana, sentiasa follow up sebab apa mungkinkah itu adalah JLT kita ya. So, macam uh, contoh JLT Nagwa. Uh, just a quick question. Uh, how did you came to start with the forever? بدأت أنا فوريفر في الأول إن أنا كنت شفت إعلان كان في أحد المنتديات هنا في الإمارات إعلان عن فرصة العمل وتوصلت طبعا مع الأبلاين كانت هي موجودة حل وقتها في لندن توصلت معها وعطتني عنوان الشركة ورحت ودي كانت البداية. At the first she saw advertisement on on some of the UAE forms requiring new people to work with forever and she contacted her upline. Her upline was at on that time we were in London, so she couldn't meet with her. Oh, the yeah. upline was in London at that time. Yeah. So pada mulanya JLT Nagwa ni sebenarnya dia nampak ads ni tau dari, dari UAE yang uh, upline dia ni sedang mencari orang. Tapi pada masa tu upline dia tu berada di London. So what happened when he was in London? He or she? She. 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 When she was in she. London, what? Sorry. بدأت إن أنا أروح الشركة أول مرة رحت فرع الشركة وسجلت هناك وبدأت إن أنا أشتري المنتجات ويعني ممكن فضلت أول شهرين على ما عملت أول تو سي سي لأن كنت في البداية بعمل مبيعات ولسه إن إحنا بنعرف عن الشركة معلومات أكثر أكثر من شهرين يعني على ما عملت نقطتين ده كانت البداية. start was she first went to the forever branch in Abu Zabi and she continued to take products and her first two CCs she made in uh, two months. The, the first two CC? Yeah. Okay, pada mulanya beliau ke branch Abu Dhabi ya. Dan uh, CC, dua CC beliau dia buat dalam masa dua bulan. Okay. And, and, and uh, how, how, what happened when your, uh, your upline was in London? How did she sponsor you? عن الشركة واحدة المحاضرات وعرفت بقى الموضوع إن في تكوين فريق وفي ترقيات وفي حوافز ومن وقتها بدأت إن أنا أشتغل على الموضوع فعلا. Then uh, they they reconnected together and she started explaining to her that she has to make a team and she started making the teams and from that point she started uh, after two months she started making team. Uh, sebenarnya JLT Najwa lepas tu mereka uh, berkontak kembali dan selepas dua bulan then only bila dah faham kena cari tim uh, masa tu lah beliau bermula membina tim-tim beliau dan amazing dalam cuma dua tahun lah uh, tengok beliau terus menjadi supplier manager amazing two years only you can be the supplier manager right yeah. and um, okay so uh, is there anything else that you'd like to... Oh, yeah, I want to ask this uh, because this is a very uh, favorite question. When husband at the beginning do not support the wife, the, the, how do you buy the product? Is it your own money or uh, GLT Hosam gave you the money? No. <laughs> 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 
وهو يعني قال لي اعملي براحتك يعني اشتغلي بس هو قرر نفسه هو مش مقتنع بالشغل بس قال لي براحتك اشتغلي So at the beginning, uh, she was working as a teacher, as we said before. Uh, so she used her own money to, to buy the products. I was skeptical. I, I said, eh, this is a waste of money and waste of time. <laughs> But uh, it proved me wrong. Okay. So para, para suami, ya, uh, sebab JLT Najwa ni dia bekerja tau sebagai cikgu kan, sebagai teacher. So uh, JLT Hossam kata, Uh, membazir dia cakap uh, dia tak tak, tak galakkanlah so JLT Nagwa guna duit dia sendiri so you were using your own money right yes yeah yes. so uh, isteri suami sana tu sila ah sila support suami atau isteri bagi duit untuk jadi JLT beli beli sisi bukan untuk apa beli produk bukan untuk apa tapi beli untuk menjadi JLT uh, i was telling them that uh, buy spend the the money not to buy the product but buy for the JLT because that that money can make you to be a JLT isn't it just yes. like where you are right now <laughs> يعني <تصفيق> عايزه اضيف حاجه كمان يعني انا اول ما اشتغلت في شهر مارس 2014 اول شيك نزلي كان 70 درهم. So her first uh, check monthly check was uh, 70 درهم only. 70 70 درهم about nearly 20 US dollars. Okay, check her first pertama, ah, can, ah, shall we see the check? We shall see the check. No, the yeah. monthly check. Yeah, let's see. No, I, I want to see the CBM check also. Oh. The, oh. The you first... have the photos? Yes, yes, we have. So this is, yes, this is... Uh... Yeah. ده أول شيك مشاركة أرباح في 2016 كانت 12000 دولار. This is uh, in 2016 Johannesburg Global Rally. Our first uh, Global Rally check, this is 12,000 uh, US dollars. Ya, cek pertama mereka ya adalah 12305 dan 03. So forever ah, walaupun sen-sen ah 0.3 pun dia akan bayar juga. And uh, who is this uh, the 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 other one? The no no ha, is it? No ha, di ukhti da shik tabaha no ha ukhti bifariqi ma'aya wa kanat ma'aya bardu fi awwal rihla fi Johannesburg wa shik bitaha ba 4000 dollar. Noha is her sister, and uh, her first check also was uh, 4,000 yeah. US dollars. 4,000 US dollars. So you tengok, huh? uh, dia bantu kakak dia sendiri, uh, join forever, sama-sama berjaya. So mereka berdua dapat check. Yang, uh, which one is elder? Nagwa or the, the other sister? Noha. Noha, Noha is elder. Noha. Oh yeah. wow, amazing! Because yeah. we have we have two CBMs also who are fighting for GLT. Two sisters. We have this uh, uh, G, uh, CBM Naja and CBM Hamiza. Uh, they are also sisters. Yeah. So yeah. They, yeah, the beautiful thing about them was uh, the sister came in to join forever because the elder the elder one because she's worried that the younger sister will be cheated just like uh, Hosham. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, but in the end, the elder sister was the one who is fighting much more stronger, and both of them are very successful in forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, orang Malaysia ya, saya ceritakan tadi tentang uh, cerita dua adik beradik sebab mereka juga adik beradik tentang uh, suka adik beradik ini. Uh, GLT bakal GLT kita ya, uh, CBM Naja dan CBM uh, Hamiza, yeah. So I'm so happy. I'm so glad. I'm so blessed to see this. I'm I'm so touched when I see sisters or siblings to be doing together in forever. Yes. Okay. So uh, your next check. Shall we see your next check? Yeah. This is uh, in two thousand and seventeen. Seventeen. Ah, that was in Dubai. She can check the arbah. Be one hundred and thirteen thousand dollars. Can for two thousand and seventeen. That was in Dubai Global Rally 2017, uh, 130,000 US dollars. Wow, you think, huh? 130, that's so much jump from the 12,000, right? Yes. You, you cannot imagine from 12,000 to 130. Guys, dekat mana you nak cari, you dapat bonus, ya? Dari 12,000 tahun pertama dan tahun kedua terus meloncat ke 130,000. 
and this is in USD. I was saying, uh, where where can you find a company that uh, pays you a bonus? The first year you get only twelve thousand, but then the following year you jump until two hundred and thirty thousand. Oh my God, it's so so much. Yeah, it's speechless. <laughs> and the next the next check will be, shall we give them more? Yeah, we give them more. Yeah. Wow, this is in two thousand and eighteen. Yes. In uh, America, that was in America, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That was in USA, global rally. USA, two thousand and eighteen, one hundred and fifty-one thousand. Yes, Dato, yeah. yes, you're right. Bawa semua anak, anak beranak, anak pinak, semua bawa ke pentas dunia because nothing is impossible in forever, right? I, I was yeah. telling, uh, I was telling uh, everybody here that I'm so excited. I said, bring everybody to the world stage because we can do this together, and we have to do this, do this uh, hand in hand together, right? Yes. Yeah. And uh, the next one. My God! So there you are. That came from Sweden. That came first. Sheikh, Sherman bonus level three. Leia came from Sweden. Two thousand and nineteen. This is uh, her first uh, Sherman bonus check level three, three in Sweden. Global rally, two thousand nineteen. Wow, merempang bulu roma saya. CBM level three, yeah, in the US. Yeah. In the US, two thousand and. No, Sweden, Sweden. Sweden. This is two thousand. 19. 19, 2019. Tengok tadi ya, pada 2018 cuma 150 ribu tetapi bila ke 2019 menaik ke 340 ribu. Wow, this is really amazing. That's why I, I when I saw you being interviewed in the by the HQ, I was looking at the JLT Nagua and. I can never imagine that I can I I can I, I have the chance this to interview you today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome, and I'm so honored. And uh, 2020, yes, 2020. Uh, it's not so. Uh, it's 300, 359. 369. Yeah, 59. Yeah. 69. Wow, amazing. So two consecutive years, you you're getting this one. So what what yeah. do you what do you do what do you do with all this money? Because I understand at the beginning you told us like uh, you're helping people, yeah, you're helping people. Apart from that, apart from that, what do you do for your personal use? What do you buy? Like maybe you buy uh, uh, GLT Nagua. What did you buy? Hosang when you get ah? This is a, a oh. quick question. <laughs> what did you oh. buy? <laughs> what did you buy? Uh, something for GLT uh, Hossam or Hossam to Nagua when you get this check. What was the first thing that you bought for each other? We used to buy the expenses for the apartment, the house. We used to buy, I mean, the materials. We used to buy the materials. We used to buy the materials. Uh, we we will we would like to uh, we took the money and we invested in for our children, uh, school fees and uh, faculty and college, and uh, to secure the future with uh, with a new home as well. A new home, huh? Yeah. Uh, okay. So when they are married, what do they invest for? Anak sekolah anak lepas tu ke college mereka. Dan juga membeli rumah ya itu adalah satu kewajipan bagi kita bila dah ada duit tu kita beli rumah. And what was the special gift? Did you buy um, like I know Dato they Datin they buy uh, like watch for Dato and Dato bought the uh, merch for Datin. So what did you buy for each other? Something like watch? Huh? Oh. Uh, هو اشتري لي قبل كده زي هديه ذهب و انا اشتريت سياره. I bought her a gold gift and uh, she bought for me a car. Wow. A car. You you <laughs> tengok ah GLT Nagua belikan uh, belikan GLT Hossam kereta tau. And then GLT Hossam belikan uh, emas untuk suak isteri dia. Wow. Hebat, hebat. Beli kereta, ha? Ha, ada tak suami saya dekat sini belikan saya kereta? <laughs> I, I was teasing, I said, uh, where's my husband? I want my husband to buy me a car. 
<laughs> okay, so I'm so glad that we had this chat tonight. Uh, okay, uh, another question. Uh, do you have anything else to add on? Yeah, have we shown not. all your picture already? Uh, about yeah. your, yes, your, yes, okay. Uh, do you have anything else to add on to inspire all the Malaysians, all our, our uh, viewers tonight? أنا دائما أقول إن ست الصغار لو استثمرنا فيها بعد سنة بعد سنين بعد ثلاثة يعني أنا ما انتظرتش المقابل من سنة من أول سنة بعد سنتين أو بعد ثلاث سنين من فورفر هلاقي اللي لو أنا فضلت في وظيفة هلاقي أضعافه لو أنا كنت في فورفر So if you continue to work with forever you will you will get rewarded very well no, don't wait for, for big money to come in first year or second year. You will have to continue and focus on your business after some time. This is a, a future investment for you and your family for the future. Okay. So according to America, yeah, jangan tunggu tau. Jangan tunggu, tapi uh, teruskan fokus sebab ini adalah untuk ke um, masa depan kita. Ha, dia cakap jangan tunggu, jangan tunggu buat saja, jangan buat untuk duit saja, tapi uh, teruskan, teruskan dan fokus. Dan dari situ juga kita akan membina uh, masa depan kita. Okay? Okay. Anything else? Dan. Dan. Okay. And uh, okay, the last, just last three question. We make it very fast. Uh, what does you think? Does your team think about doc, uh, late Dr. Rex contributing money to the church? طبعا الشيء ده مش غريب على ريكس لان هو ده مبدا فوريفر من البدايه ان هو عمل فوريفر عشان يساعد الناس لحياه افضل لصحه افضل ان هو يفتح لهم ابواب رزق افضل. This is not something strange uh, that uh, he done because he, he this is the principle which he built the business on to help other people and the help and uh, he does that from the beginning so we love that we, we love that in in, in, in late uh, dr x okay uh, sebenarnya uh, ini adalah soalan ah uh, hamiza yes this is this is the sister if you see in the facebook she is the one who the sisters now i mentioned to you just now hamiza uh, the sisters who are doing this yes uh, this is her question so hamiza according to glt uh, Nagwa dan Hossam sebenarnya benda ni bukan something yang pelik tau dan apa ni sebab principal principal forever uh, yang dibina oleh oleh Dr Rex ya uh, adalah membantu orang sejak dari mula lagi dan saya difahamkan beliau awal-awal dah memberitahu saya sebenarnya Dr Rex seorang yang kaya yang kaya dan yang sentiasa membantu orang ramai yang miskin ya yeah? so bagi mereka there is no issue to your team about this right because no, it's they really love it. They love it. it. So, uh, mereka sangat suka dengan uh, konsep yang uh, Dr. Rex dah uh, mula dari mula lagi. Uh, dah buat dari mula lagi. Yes. Okay. okay. Anything else? <laughs> okay, then. Number, just number uh, 13, yeah? We, uh, we want to know what is your long-term and short-term goal in forever. So, I, I akan uh, apa, cari Cari tanya mereka ya, apakah short dan long term goal mereka dalam forever? Walau ada si si ini ada lawa, ada si lawa sama sama. Jadi ni tu asal yang. Saya ada di periferi men ada isi eliti. So I have a future short term short target that she will have at least three of her team as a GLT members in the next three years. In three years. Yeah. Okay, Sifu, ni ada untuk you lagi. Dalam masa tiga tahun, tiga tahun, dia akan membina tiga, tiga, tiga. Kita ada sembilan, tiga, tiga. Tapi bagi GLT Hossam, dalam tiga tahun ni, mereka akan bina tiga GLT dalam team mereka. That is the short term, ya. Yeah? Dan long term, yeah. and your long term. So, yeah. saya dah cakap, Melayu pula dengan mereka. Yeah. Ada fi il, il yang saya fikir fi udam, insyaAllah, in... أدخل أكبر عدد ممكن من الناس عندي في مصر إحنا عندنا مصر أكثر من 120 مليون شخص وكلهم عندهم طاقة وطموح إنهم يدخلوا ويشتغلوا فعلا في شركة فوريفر نأمل قريب إن فرع فوريفر يفتح في مصر علشان أدخل أكبر عدد ممكن من الناس وإنهم يحصلوا على صحة أفضل ودخل أفضل من فوريفر. So her long term target is to 
add more people from Egypt and uh, to wait for the branch to open there that we will uh, we have 120 million people are most of them are ready to join anytime and uh, <laughs> join our business wow okay long term uh, apa project ya eh? long term project mereka adalah uh, target lah uh, menaja ramai orang ya eh? sebab dekat Egypt ada 120 juta orang 120 million in Egypt right dan yeah, yeah. mereka sangat teruja sebab apa dekat Egypt tak ada branch. So, ini adalah chance kita tahu. Buka semua rangkaian dekat sana. Ha. Dia akan menaja ramai orang dari Egypt sebab mereka nak buka lagi besar uh, rangkaian mereka. Okay? Anything else? No. no. Okay. So, that is your... Okay, the last one. What is your favorite method to approach your prospect? So, this will be the, the last question because I believe... Um, uh, GLT Hossam and GLT Nampo, yeah, they have uh, classes after this. So, uh, kita akan bantu mereka untuk percepatkan interview ni. Saya tahu you all nak tanya banyak lagi tapi mereka tak ada masa. Yeah. Okay, what is your favorite method to approach your prospect? Eh, alishan agib a'da gudud andi bil fariq. Eh, ba'amil a'lanat. Wal a'lanat bitgib li a'dad kikira minin nas. Zay mana ul tiladin buhut laha shurut ashan yigi li nas mutamayyifin. So uh, her, the first step is to make advertisements on the online and the net, internet. And, uh, and that advertisement will bring a lot of people, of course, but she has specific qualifications she's looking for. Okay, okay. so uh, according to GLT Nagwa, pertama dia buat banyak uh, ads dalam social media, tetapi, tetapi ramai orang, ramai orang dia akan pilih. Dia bawa ramai tapi dia akan pilih ya, dia akan pilih dalam uh, masa tu. Okay. Kemudian, saya berdahulu fari dari orang yang saya tahu atau orang yang saya kenal. Selain itu, saya juga ingin mengajar orang yang telah membeli produk saya. Saya tahu bahawa jumlah mereka kecil, tetapi mereka mempunyai peluang untuk kemenangan yang lebih besar. Ah, tentu saja setelah mengetahui kualifikasi dan kualifikasi yang dia perlukan, tentu saja dia juga mempunyai beberapa some of her family people and uh, friends and uh, the customers who, buy, who bought from her the products before uh, and she sees in them the qualifications she will she will take them and accept them as a new uh, prospects because they are uh, smart people and willing to do business ah so lepas beliau letak syarat ah ada yang dari family kawan customer yang sedia ada pun kan bila uh, beliau nampak mereka ni ada quality ah so maka beliau pun akan menjemput mereka akan join dia dalam business ni انا طبعا يعني اهم حاجه في الشغل ان انا لو لقيت الشخص المتميز اللي عنده طموح اللي حابب فعلا يشتغل وبعدين انا تابعته نسبه 90% ان الشخص ده هينجح so if she picks someone with a specific uh, qualifications and he's a special person who, who is active and he's smart, then 90% he will succeed in the work if she if she accepts him. Oh, so because of her follow up with him and training. Ah, okay. According to follow up and training, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, according to beliau ya, yeah, uh, bila dah pilih orang tu kan yang aktif dan smart lah, dia selalu cakap lah smart ni lah, cikgu sains lah, dia selalu pilih orang, quality is very important. 90 dengan follow up dia dan training lah, dia percaya 90% beliau akan pasti berjaya. Okay? Okay. Dan. Dan. Wow, we have come to the end. I would like to ask more but I cannot because I cannot keep you here. <laughs> <تصفيق> يعني أنا والله يعني حابة أن أنا أشكركم جدا يعني أنا استمتعت جدا بالانترفيو وأتمنى أن أنا أشوف أكبر عدد ممكن من الناس اللي شاهدونا ومن مليديا إن شاء الله في كلوب الرالي So we would like to thank all of you for uh, interviewing us We would like to thank you all for interviewing us here with you and uh, we would like to we will hope to see all of you and a lot of people from Malaysia in the next Kulub Rally in Abu Dhabi Wow, orang Malaysia ya, orang Malaysia uh, according to GLT Hosam dan Nagwa, terima kasih atas interview ni dan mereka ingin menjemput semua kita dalam ni pergi ke Abu Dhabi untuk meraihkan uh, Global Rally kita pada tahun depan, okay? 
So, right. do, do you have anything else just to tell these Malaysian people, all these people who are still watching you? يعني أنا والله يعني حابة أقول إن يعني forever هي الفرصة الأفضل. أنا اشتغلت شغل خاص، اشتغلت تجارة، اشتغلت أكثر من وظيفة قبل كده. الأفضل بالنسبة لي وبالنسبة لأي شخص هي شفت الفرصة. So we would like to tell you at the end that uh, forever business opportunity is the best is the best opportunity uh, in the market because we did the uh, work for private companies we work as teacher we work as many jobs before this is the best thing happening is is forever okay um, according to JLT Nangwa, ini adalah opportunity yang terbaik ya dalam forever sebab okay. compared to bekerja dalam persendirian. Contoh uh, macam beliau juga pernah menjadi cikgu. Ah, uh, so kita dia dia encourage kita semua menjadi buat yang terbaik sebab ini adalah peluang yang terbaik dalam forever. And uh, just to let you know, we also have teacher in our team, in Datuk, Datuk Desmond team. So you have sisters. <laughs> we always have the uh, common thing in, in this business, right? We also yeah. have teacher in our team. Then they're also very powerful. Yeah, Cikgu Ayu. We always call Cikgu Ayu. Cikgu means teacher. Uh, yeah. So yeah, just, just one uh, question. What, how do you call teacher in Arab? Mudaris. Mudaris. Yeah, Mudaris Nagwa. Correct? <laughs> yeah. Is it correct? <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. So uh, thank you very much for your time. We are so blessed that we, we have you tonight and we learned a lot. I also have learned a lot from you both. And um, I, I would like to, you know, from on behalf of everybody from Malaysia and all over the world who are watching right now, uh, thank you for your time and may God bless us all. I'll see you in Abu Dhabi next year. See you. <laughs> you. Bye. Yeah, see you bye. All. Bye. bye. So we say bye to the people in the Facebook. Bye. bye Take care. Of Malaysia. Yeah, see you in Abu Dhabi. See, see you, you all. Bye. Bye.